Hi, I'm Aslam Mullah and I am a registered attorney and in today's video we're going to be covering does it matter who files for divorce first in South Africa? You might be in a situation where your marriage is not working out and you brought up the idea of a divorce, your partner didn't really respond, what should you do next? Should you be the one who files for divorce first? The purpose of this video is to see what are the advantages and possible disadvantages of filing for divorce and to see if it's a good strategy for you. So let's get started with it. Here are the benefits of filing for divorce first. And the first benefit is the benefit of control. What do I mean by that? In being first, you slightly control the pace of the divorce case. What do I mean by that? You can decide to cancel the divorce if your partner has not filed a response to your divorce summons. That is a significant issue. So if you file your papers and your partner has not filed a response to your papers, you can get an uncontested or def default divorce based on that or you can also get to cancel the divorce. And this gives you the ability to control the outcome of the case in that respect. Also, in deciding whether or not to file for divorce, you do not actually need a reason. South Africa has a no-fault divorce system. This means that the reason for the divorce is not exactly required. It doesn't matter what the reason is. All you need to do is show the court that there are irreconcilable differences between you and your spouse. In other words, there's no prospect of the marriage continuing. So the first advantage and benefit is that you get to control the pace of the divorce case. The second advantage is that you get to control the timing of the divorce. And this is a huge one. By filing the divorce first, you get to decide when the divorce process starts. By law, your spouse has about 10 days to then contact a divorce lawyer and prepare a response to your divorce papers. If they fail to file a response within that period, you can get a, de a default divorce, which is often called an uncontested divorce. The third advantage is the element of surprise. What do I mean by that? Not everybody sees a divorce coming. Surprise can be an unsettling factor that you can use to your advantage. What do I mean? You have time to plan. You can see your, you can hire your divorce attorney before your partner does. You can open up a new bank account. You can plan where you're going to stay while the divorce is going to be taking place. You can plan out custody schedules. You can apply for credit cards. You have a head start compared to your spouse. Plus you are more mentally prepared and that is a huge advantage to you. The fourth advantage is that you can actually check to see if your partner is hiding assets from you. In my experience, once the divorce process starts, usually you find the other partner trying to hide their assets during the divorce process. They start to transfer property into their friends' names or relatives' names. They might move money into an unknown bank account, all kinds of tricks. Make sure by you filing first, you can then make sure that you have the information ready ahead of time. You photocopied bank statements, title deeds, assets and liabilities, wherever uh, you know the information is being held. And that is an advantage of filing your divorce first. Let's take a look at some disadvantages of filing for divorce first. The first is that you must be prepared or your spouse will see exactly what it is that you want from them. What do I mean by that is that as the filing spouse, you file for divorce first. This is called a summons and particulars of claim. That's the document that you file. In this document, you will state exactly what it is that you want. Now, once you serve that document on your partner, they'll have a list of all your demands. They'll know exactly what it is that you want. The question then is, did you ask for enough or did you ask 
for too little or too much. That's why it can be a disadvantage. You must know what you must be pre be fully prepared before you go and serve your divorce papers. Here are some common filing first questions that we get in practice. Number one is, can both spouses file for divorce first? And the answer to that is no. Only one spouse can file for divorce first. That spouse is then called a plaintiff because they've started the process. And then the other spouse is called a defendant. The second common question is, Aslam, if I file for divorce first, do I get custody? And the answer to that is no. Filing first does not affect custody decisions. The judge will look at the roles of both parents in the child's life and the judge will then decide what's in the interest, the best interest of the child in terms of custody. Now, if in somebody we've looked at in this particular video, what are the advantages of filing first for divorce? You get to control the process, timing, preparation in advance, and also you get to make sure that you know to be mentally prepared before your spouse, the element of surprise. That by far, I think, is the biggest advantage to filing first. The disadvantage is that if you don't know what you want and you just institute your summons, you can lose uh, some assets. So you must be fully prepared before you file your papers. If you need help in your particular situation or you have some questions on divorce, you're more than welcome to click the link below and book an appointment with our office. I wish you all the best and I wish you good luck.